a brand new humanoid robot called Figure 02 just got the internet's attention. It is backed by OpenAI and some other huge names in tech like NVIDIA, Microsoft, and even Jeff Bezos' private fund. So yeah, it's pretty big. All right, so let's get into it. Figure, the company behind this robot, just dropped a teaser video for their latest model, Figure 02. The video is short, like seriously short but it's packed with some really interesting details if you look closely. So let's check out the video first and then I'll break down everything you need to know. All right, so we see some robotic joints, limbs, and these futuristic looking flexible mesh designs that are probably part of the robot's body. And if you're into specs, they even tease torque ratings up to 150 Newton meters. To break it down, that's basically a measure of how much force the robot can exert when it's moving something. There's also something about a ROM or a range of motion up to 195 degrees, which is kind of a big deal in the world of robotics. Now, Brett Adcock, the founder of Figure, and this guy is not new to wild tech startups. He's also behind Archer Aviation and Vettery posted on Twitter, or X as it's called now, that Figure 02 is the most advanced humanoid robot on the planet. Bold claim, right? But with the backing they've got, it's hard not to take him seriously. So let's rewind a bit. Figure as a company only started in 2022, which is like yesterday in startup terms. And they've already got a lot of people talking. They came out of nowhere in March 2023 with their first model, Figure 01, which was aimed at tackling global labor shortages. The idea is that these robots can step in to do jobs that are unsafe or just plain boring for humans, like working in warehouses, factories, and retail. And get this, they built their first full-scale humanoid robot in just six months. Six months, people. That's insane. They've got a team of 40 experts, including their CTO, Dr. Jerry Pratt, who's a big name in the robotics world. Their vision is pretty clear. Make robots that boost productivity, make workplaces safer, and get this, they've promised they'll never weaponize these robots. So they're really going for that good guy angle. What's also cool is they've already inked a deal with BMW manufacturing, so we might be seeing these robots in action sooner rather than later. And to top it off, Figure 01 had some impressive integration with OpenAI's GPT-4V model, which is like the top of the line AI tech right now. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. So you can bet Figure 02 will be packing some even newer AI models when it drops on August 6th, 2024. Now, Figure isn't the only one in the game. The race to bring AI-powered humanoid robots into our homes and workplaces is heating up. You've got Elon Musk out there saying there's going to be a market for over 10 billion, yes, billion with a B humanoid robots. He's working on his own robot, Tesla Optimus, which is basically going to be a competitor to Figure. And then there's NVIDIA, who's been showing off some pretty wild stuff with their Project GR00T using Apple Vision Pro headsets to help train AI robots through teleoperators. Oh, and don't forget Boston Dynamics. Those guys have been in the game for a while, and they're working on their own humanoid robot too, upgrading their Atlas model with electric motors to make it cheaper and more reliable. Now, another really interesting development in the world of AI and robotics is coming from a startup called Oxford Dynamics, based in Harwell, Oxfordshire. They're working on a robot called Strider, and this thing is specifically designed to venture into some of the most dangerous environments known to man. We're talking about places where chemical, biological, or even nuclear threats are present. Basically, situations where you really wouldn't want to send a human. 
Now, Oxford Dynamics isn't just playing around here. They've already landed a one million pounds contract with the UK Ministry of Defense, MOD, to design, develop, and supply these robots. The idea is, instead of risking human lives, why not send in a machine that can handle the job? Mike Lawton, one of the directors at the company, is thinking big. He's talking about building hundreds, maybe even thousands of these Strider robots in the future, all with the goal of making the world a safer place. So what exactly can Strider do? Well, this robot is pretty versatile. It's got a long, multi-jointed arm that can take readings, collect samples, and retrieve contaminated objects. And it moves around on these tank-like treads, which means it's built to handle rough, unpredictable terrain. Think about how tough it would be for a human in a hazmat suit to navigate a place like that. Strider can do it without breaking a sweat. Well, if robots could sweat. The company started working on Strider in November, and they've got until September to deliver the finished product to the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory. They're hoping Strider can be used in scenarios like the 2018 Novichok attack in Salisbury, where dealing with contaminated objects was a serious challenge. This robot could swoop in, grab those dangerous items, and secure them in sealed containers, all while performing tasks that would be really difficult for humans. But Oxford Dynamics isn't stopping there. They're planning to integrate their AI software into Strider, and they're calling it AVIS, which stands for a Very Intelligent System. That sounds a bit like Jarvis from Iron Man. You're spot on. That's exactly what inspired them. Wake up, Daddy Sean. Welcome home, son. The possibilities here are endless. Shefali Sharma, one of the founders, even mentioned that this tech could be adapted for use in submarines or fighter jets in the future. For these guys, seeing this technology get into the hands of people who truly need it is the ultimate goal. Shefali said it would be a dream come true to see Strider out there making a real difference. And it's not just the startup that's excited. Ewan Davies from DEFRA, the UK Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, mentioned in a statement that it's great to see these concepts rapidly turning into a highly capable and flexible platform. So just like Figure is pushing the boundaries of what humanoid robots can do, Oxford Dynamics is showing us how AI and robotics can literally save lives by stepping into the most hazardous situations on Earth. It's a thrilling time for technology, and it's going to be fascinating to see how both of these projects evolve in the near future. So yeah, the competition is fierce, but with the kind of momentum figure has, plus the backing of some of the biggest names in tech, they seem like they're in a really strong position to keep pushing forward. I can't wait to see what this figure 02 is really capable of when it's fully revealed. All right. If you're interested in how AI and robotics are reshaping our world, make sure to stick around for more deep dives into the latest tech. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.